Hey there, Corruptors, and welcome to the open beta of Dust 514. It's a free-to-play, massively multiplayer online first-person shooter, exclusive, that's right, exclusive, to the PS3, and from what, from what I've heard, PS Vita as well. It's developed by CCP, who also made the successful MMORPG, EVE Online. Now, the thing that really caught my eye about this title is the fact that it's directly connected with EVE Online. So, here's a little extract that I found on the Dust514 Wikipedia page that explains this in a lot more detail. So, all combat within Dust514 takes place in real time on planets found in the EVE Online universe. The player alliances and corporations of EVE Online, Online can hire Dust514 players as mercenaries to fight for control over planets. The outcome of such battles will affect the sovereignty of player-run political powers in EVE Online. So, a direct form of interaction comes in the form of orbital bombardments. So, orbital bombardments allow a player to, in EVE Online to provide direct assistance to a friendly forces in battle in Dust 514. How awesome does that sound? You're like, control like the, the spaceship or whatever in EVE Online like doing support stuff for the Dust 514 players, like bring down bombs, bombardments, whatever. I mean, that, that's just a little bit. Like, there's like a whole section on the Dust 514 page about this whole cross platform thing. So, um, link to that will be in the description to the Wikipedia page. Anyways, you can see here I've got my little crib just walking around. So. I thought I'd just show you around like the whole menu f system, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you don't like this system, then there's always the uh, start thing, which is the same, but it's still pretty cool, like, to have both. To give it more of a role play, things like, I'm gonna go over here and check out my drop suit fitting, which is basically like your creator classes. You like more? Now, the cool thing about this is that, well, it's, it, I mean, it can get, probably could get annoying, I'm guessing, I mean, but it's, it's still an interesting thing to like, because like, you, you know in games where you get like a load of cash, it just stank, stacks up and you feel like, this isn't going anywhere. Well, here's a solution that they've come up with. So, as you can see here, on uh, my Enforcer Starter Fit, you can see there's the quantity 35 there. Now what that means is that there's uh, like 35 remaining of that class. So. When that runs out, it means I need to replenish like my stock, and I use the in-game credits to do so, which is pretty cool. And like, see here, I've got. Let me see. Uh, I've only, see. I've only got like on the right. I've only got three. What was it? No, two classes in total. I've only got two militia, militia sh shotguns and two militia nano chive. Is that? Or nano, no, no, nano hive, yeah, nano hive, nano chive, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. So like, that's a whole class system. Uh, I mean, like, there's lots of other stuff that I'm still not sure about. Like, there may be some like perk thing or something, but that, that's what I've seen so far. Oh, and of course, this is the uh, matchmaking thing, the uh, battle finder. There's currently two game modes in this open beta, so. Um, I'm sure they'll be adding lots more game modes in the future. There's a vehicle fitting, your uh, skill sheets. Um, actually, Would I better check like if I need any skills. Yes, quit the tutorial, damn it. Quit it. Quit it. That's going to get annoying, I swear. Right, finish. Like no, I don't more? want to know more. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have any more skills, but basically, you get skill points. You can upgrade like the skills you currently have, and you can buy more as well with the with the actual in-game, proper in-game credits, which is cool as well. So, yeah, that's all that. Uh, all right, let's go out, there we go. There's, uh, here's the marketplace. Uh, let's show you, lots of tabs there. All right, no, I don't want, no, like I don't to want to know more, more, damn it. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll like to know more, but I personally don't, because it's really, there is just, so much stuff that's just crammed into your skull at the beginning. It's like, what? My brain hurts. It feels funny. But, um, 
I mean, with, with games, I prefer it if they just, like, give you, like, the odd tip saying, you can do this by blah, blah, blah. Now and again, not all of it just crammed in at the start. I think, oh, I better go through this for, like, the next half a bloody hour. That's right, half an hour, I'm guessing, so you can actually wrap your head around all this, because it's not... It's not like a game like COD, where you go, like, oh, you got your class, you get, like, get your select amount, then you have your kill streaks, then, like, then you get your unlocks, it tells you when. No. In this, it's just... It, it, it just seems so... such of a cluster... Fuck or whatever. But as you can see, here's the leaderboards. And I think that's all the stuff. And as I said before, there's like the. You can just press start for all this, so that's cool as well. So, I'm gonna jump right straight into a game. Uh, I do not show again, please. Battle push. request accepted. Searching for suitable contracts. Hey, what's this? Mercury portion. I just noticed that. So now we're waiting for deployment. So that's cool, you can just uh, exit that, just have a wander around the crib. Might as well, that's, that's, I mean it's probably something else, but I'm going to call it my crib. So what if you don't want me, me calling it the crib? I want to call it the crib. That's what I want. There we go. Finally getting to a game now. Whew. Right, black screen. I'm not friendly with you, so you can go away. Oh, loading screen. My other arch nemesis, along with the black screen. Right, what's this? Hacked objectives enter a contested state, during which time they can be hacked back to prevent switching alignment to the opposing side. That's cool. Thanks for the tip. Now, I'm, I'm going to think that these little tips before a game are actually going to be useful. Because <laughs> there's just so much to learn. But I'm sure over time I'll pick it up. So... Here we have like the uh, so like the uh, area where you can like do last minute things like last minute purchases. Uh, here's the big scoreboard for this game. As you can see, I am number six. Uh, expert intervention, I think that says. Yeah, expert intervention. As you get, oh look, this this guy has a bit of customization here. Um, or is that? Or was that just a completely different suit to what I'm wearing? Because I, I know there's different suits. And I'm using like an assault thing. Because I'm using assault rifles. I just thought, yeah, just use the default stuff. And I believe my assault rifle has like 60 rounds or something ridiculous. I mean, there's one for like 45. Well, I compared that to this other one. And there just didn't seem to be any diff more difference. Apart from the fact it had 50 more rounds. So I was like, 50 more rounds is probably going to be more useful to me. So, okay, let's... Use the default spawn point. Cool. Alright. So yeah, every time I die, that's when I lose one of those uh, sets. So I have to uh, defend the kill. That's it. Spawn these enemies. Uh, as I said before, the triangle is going to ground, so it just feels bloody weird. And I just got killed. Now, uh, I'm going to see if anyone's going to revive me because it seems that not only one knows, no one knows really how to revive. Oh, what was that coming in? Someone nearby. Well, it'd be good if they could actually revive me. Please? No? No, you're just going to... What? Well, let's not knock in. Revive. Brilliant. I'm calling for help. 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 Help anyone. Oh, what's the point? They can't hear me. I'm recording my... This knife comes here on my PC. <laughs> It's worth us doing that. And by the time you guys hear it, it'll be too late. I'll be dead. <laughs> right. So where are we spawning now? I mean, that was a bit worrying me spawning right next to enemies. I mean, I don't know if that was something my fault because of the way I spawn. I, I don't know. I, the, the spawn system seems a bit iffy to me at that point. like... So I won't get killed here. There's like points where, like, say, I might spawn... Oh, 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 dip. Go away. Go. Right, let's, let's, let's hide behind here so I can show you quickly. So, this is sometimes uh, I can spawn literally by a wall facing it. And sometimes I might spawn near an enemy. And they could be here. They see me spawn facing the wall. Now, not only have they got the advantage of me spawning near, like, near them, right in front of them, but also I'm facing the wrong bloody way. Whilst if I was facing that way, I could at least have some sort of standing chance, but 
if I'm facing the other way, that means I have to turn around, and by the time I've even probably realised I've spawned that wall, I'll be already dead, as, like, I sort of demonstrated there, I guess. Uh, nah, nah, I'm just going to respawn. Screw it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. No one's going to come and revive me. I'm so alone. Because no one is really doing teamwork by the look of things. No one. I mean, this is the team death, actually, we think. I'll be able to get a revive. Phone reserves at... But yeah, I, get, I, I guess people are newbies like me. We just have to know who the hell we're doing. Bloody hell. Everyone seems to halo jump as well, I've noticed. So, oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm just going to grenade around the corner. Okay, oh, dear. There's someone around here. Oh, bloody hell. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I just spawned. Whilst being surrounded, so I was pretty much a goner. Alright, it's not worth waiting for them, but I've found it just there's just no point to it. At this stage of the game anyway, because no one knows how to bloody revive. In fact, I think I've played about uh, four or five games, I've only got revived once. Yes. Once. In uh five full games. What the hell's up with that, eh? You, you, you should probably put more emphasis on reviving other people. CTP. That would help a lot. So people like me and other people who just don't want to have to uh, respawn every time because no one knows how to revive it. There we go. Got a kill. Stole it off somebody. Oh no! God damn it! Everywhere! Oh wow. I know, how, I know how it feels. <laughs> Ugh. It seems to take a lot of bullets as well. It's not like an FP fire down here. Cold, where it's like literally three bullets to down something across the map. Um, this seems to take like a. And like, plus, like, your accuracy, like, it seems quite impossible to. Oh, there we go. Something else. There we go. Possibly in the montage there. Yes, yeah, see, let's see all the dust by 14 more times. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, die. No, no, okay, I die instead. Okay. He's got absolutely double team there. Absolutely ripped. Alright, uh, I don't know why I'm even bothering. I'll give him a bit of a chance. Okay, okay, they're all dead, so at least near here. Oh, no, no, okay. I can't see if there's sciences in this game. I hope there isn't. When you have sciences in the game, that's not good. Unless it's severely nerfed the hell of them. Like, Battlefield 3. I can't remember how they nerfed it, but they got pretty badly nerfed. And, like, everyone started to use them at the start. Now, no, literally, no one uses them except me. Now, on uh, Battlefield 3, I like to use the P90 with, I don't know, silencer and laser sight. Because I mean, sure, there's like things like the MP7, which are better overall. But I mean, well, not not overall, but just like failed. as far as Phone time to kill. Defeated. Oh, great! It's defeat. Brilliant. I joined the losing game. Game in progress. Well done, game. Well done. It's why I hate sometimes hate COD, cons like consoles, like, titles like COD, because it's like you join the game. Oh, it's it's almost finished. Brilliant. And how much did I get? 180, okay. Uh, to Merc Quarters again. Um, yeah, I guess we can call that an episode, I guess. I mean, we got a couple of kills at least. I think it absolutely pooned, I guess. Um, oh, here's the controls. Is it push, push, press the talk? I've, I think I've enabled it to just let me just speak normally anyway. Overview map, down, up. Oh. Never mind. I was trying to study that, but it looks like I have to look at it another time. So, yeah, that's so that's Dust 514 for you. Um, I'll probably be doing a couple more videos on it, and I messaged a couple of my friends today, like saying, download this game so I can do some videos with people I actually know, and like, because there's like a whole squad system and everything. It'd be pretty fun for like a couple of us just to play around on this. Hopefully, it lasts. I really hope it isn't like a massive failure, like, um, I don't know, Brink 
because I saw the jumps in the bandwagon for that. I was like, oh yeah, this game's going to be awesome. I might even be playing it more than Call of Duty. Uh, 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 oh god, like I even said, uh, bring goods and Call of Duty in the same sentence. Anyway. Um, yep, yeah, hope it doesn't turn out anything like that, and I hope it actually stays on the in the PS3 community for a while, and I'm just doing a little patrol here, I don't know why, I just feel like I should be walking whilst I talk. Walkie talkie. <laughs> Anywho, I think we should probably call that an end, so, like, favourite, subscribe, you know the drill. Let's try and face him, no, he doesn't want to be seen, okay, that's alright, camera shine, no biggie. So, see ya! Till next time on Death by 14! Woohoo!